everybody it's Wendy and today I have my bargain beadbox unboxing so I know there are like 15 million of them already out on YouTube but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway so you know why not um, but first our encouraging word for today is diamonds are made under pressure so you may be under pressure you're gonna come out a diamond um, that is for sure and we all know that life has been a lot of pressure lately it seems like it's not been easy all right, so let me get this wonderful little bag of goodness sorted out, and I will be right back. Okay, so I've got it all sorted out here, and here is our little um, identification key and just a little bit of information about Bargain Beadbox. They're a monthly subscription service. I believe they're raising their prices to $19.98 a month, which is still a really great deal from $17.98. Um, I mean, prices of everything are going up, so yeah, it's bound to happen. Um, but that's still a great deal. You get a lot of really cool stuff you'll see from this unboxing. I've been unboxing them for years, so if you want to look back on my playlist, you can see what we've had in the past. Um, when you subscribe to Bargain Beadbox, you get a 30% off coupon to use in their sister store. You can use that over and over all month long, and their sister store has really great prices. So it's really a good deal all the way around, okay? Um, and the $19.98 includes your shipping. So we're going to get right into this. Um, I do have a coupon code as well. It is Wendy2. If you want to subscribe, you get $2 off your first box, your first month subscription. Or if you want to shop in their store, you get $2 off in their store, but you can only use that coupon one time. Okay, so number one, it looks like our, our um, theme this month is, and everybody always gets on me for showing that coupon, um, <laughs> our theme this month is Winter Wonderland, and it says, Chili Blue and Icy Crystal combined for an elegant winter collection. Okay, so we've got some quartz, um, graduated rounds, let's see, and snowflakes, snowy howlite, and crystal accents and silver bindings. Okay, so let's get into this. So number one is four pieces of 25 by 22 millimeter snowflake links. I like these really well because they're very flat. Um, they're not like... Um, <laughs> I don't know why, but they're not like, um, you know, very puffy like a charm would be. They're very flat, and I like them. I think they're cool. They look like filigree almost, but um, yeah, these are really, really pretty cool. If you can see them there, and you know, here is my quarter. I know, I could not find my quarter for a long time. Here it is. I have rearranged my desk. So that's about how big they are, so 25 by 22, but yeah, these are really cute. Four pieces of them. I like these a lot. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is one meter of still Luma China jewelry chain, Luma China. Not sure how you say this. I've seen this before. I've actually never ever used this kind of chain. Um, it's very interesting. I'm not sure that I love it because I feel like it looks like paper clips. <laughs> and I know that sounds weird, but yeah, it is the first time I've ever seen it in the bargain bee box though. So, I don't know. I'll have to give it a try. I've never used it before on anything, again, because of the, it just reminds me of little paper clips. But, very cool. Um, one meter. It's a pretty good amount. Number three is a 48 millimeter cutout round winter focal. Now, what in the world? This has got something in it. <laughs> What's that? Let's take a needle or a beading awl. Let's try the beading awl. What is that? It looks like rocks stuck in there. That is interesting. Okay. Um, I don't know what that is. It looks like wood or rocks or something. Okay, let's get that out of there. Um, but really pretty. Would be really pretty to glue some rhinestones in here, like some 19SS um, chatons, and make it very sparkly, or you could glue something in the middle. That's cute. I might try to clean it up a little with my jewelry cleaning cloth. I don't know. It just, it had pieces of something in it which is really odd okay it is very pretty though and there it is next to the quarter so you can see it's fairly large uh, number four seven inch strand of six millimeter natural quartz crystal round beads that's these these are really pretty and you can tell these are quartz instead of just glass if you look see this there are some, uh, like, not inclusions or striations, but just, I don't know, it, it's got almost a crackled glass appearance to it, and that's how you can tell that it's quartz. It's got that in there. It's not just plain glass. See, there's another little bit of it. 
but these are very pretty very very pretty okay number five 40 pieces of lacy six petal bead caps oh these are cute i like these tiny bead caps if you watch my channel for any time at all, I know you've heard me say a hundred times that I don't like bead caps to look like they are hats on beads. Um, I like them to accent the bead, not overwhelm it. And these are a really good size. These are really pretty too. Whoops. My camera. Yeah, those are really pretty. They are very lacy and um, filigree looking. So they're pulling the, they're pulling the filigree look you know, from all of these things. And that's one thing Bargain Beadbox is amazing at is their curating. It's just amazing. And I am so glad this month that we did not get bright orange and green. <laughs> and if you have subscribed to Bargain Beadbox for any length of time, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right. Um, number six is a 10-piece strand of 10-millimeter matte natural halite round beads. These are really pretty. I like matte halite. I did... um a necklace out of it a while back and it's beautiful and I like that they're 10 millimeter we get some different sizes and, and I like that I used to always buy six millimeter but I've kind of graduated especially with gemstones I like the bigger ones they show the beauty of the gemstone so much better and then number seven is a 10 gram bag of eight and a half by nine and a half millimeter snowflake beads that's these. These are really cute. Oh, those are super cute. Okay, and they're beads. They're not charms. Yeah, those are really cute. It would be super cute to take this and glue rhinestones in here and then maybe do a little tiny 12 or a little even a smaller than a 12 in there um, on these. That would be really cute. I may have to do something like that. Really pretty. And how many pieces? Um... Where'd it go? 10 gram bag. Okay. So yeah, really cute. Uh, number eight, seven inch strand of four by three millimeter crystal rondelle beads in matte ice blue. That's a very pretty color. Matte ice blue. Yep, really pretty. Beautiful. Number nine, is an 18 millimeter cut glass crystal snowflake flake pendant in bermuda blue bermuda blue goodness i can't even talk this is gorgeous okay so you could use the bermuda blue and use the bermuda blue swarovski crystals on that big snowflake and how pretty would that be that would be really pretty you could even hang this from it wow yeah that's beautiful love that bermuda Be bermuda blue <laughs> is one of my favorite colors why can't i not say that today yeah that's beautiful Wow, and it won't even hardly focus. The camera won't because of all of that sparkle. Okay, number 10. Two pieces of 14 millimeter cut crystal snowflake pendants in Bermuda blue. So here we have the smaller size. So here's the bigger one. We got the little smaller ones. They're going to be very pretty as earrings. And here's your quarter. So if you want to see kind of how they compare. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to have to pull out my Swarovski crystals and find some Bermuda blue and see what I can do here. Number 10. Number 11, two pieces of 17 by 23 millimeter snowflake cutout chandeliers. Oh, these are cool. But again, there's something in there. What is the deal with all this stuff being like? Okay, that's not coming out though. Whatever that is in there. It's not entirely cut out. It's cut, ooh, yeah, it did come out. I don't know what this stuff is. It's kind of grossing me out a little bit, though. Um, I'm not sure what it is. But it's in these cutouts. It's in the, um, it was in my snow, big snowflake. I don't know if it's just the metal. The other one did not look like metal. It looked like wood or rocks or something. This just kind of looks like the metal didn't get cut completely. But they're still very pretty. I'm not sure that that totally looks like a snowflake in the middle. It kind of does. Now it's bu bugging me. I want to get all this metal <laughs> in the middle of this. That's going to bother me. I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> My OCD is kicking in. Um, but yeah, interesting. But yeah, definitely um, kind of weird going on here. I don't know. Yeah. That's strange. Let me know if you guys have, like, pieces still left in yours of 
metal or rocks in your bigger one. <laughs> I'm really kind of curious. What is this? Okay. All right, moving on. I'm sorry. I'm just a little... Okay, number 12, three pieces of electroplated natural rough quartz points. Now, these are so pretty. I love these. I love to do just a pendant with them hanging. They are really pretty. Um, these are not as clear quartz as these are. I kind of wish they would have matched. Like, this would have been clear. These are electroplated and these aren't. But still, beautiful. Very beautiful. Definitely, um... I like to make earrings with these too. I think earrings are really pretty made out of those. All right, now I've got stuff all over my bead map. Uh, number 11, no, number 13, approximately 15 inch strand of four millimeter crystal bicone beads and metallic blue iris. Those are our standard bicones. I like their bicones. I never have any trouble with them. People, I've heard some people complain about them uh, being Chinese bicones, not being like the regular, but I never have any trouble with them. I mean, you know, they're just normal bicones. Okay. Um, number 14 is a 16-inch strand of 6 by 4 millimeter crystal rondelle, be rondelle beads and steely blue metallic iris. Look at this. Wow, the sparkle on those is really stunning. <laughs> These are beautiful. A lot of glass beads this month. I don't mind that. I know a lot of people will probably complain about the um, lack of gemstones, but... Those same people, I think, have complained they wanted more beads. So, <laughs> you know, you can't have both. Gemstones are expensive. So you either get less beads and more gemstones or more beads, you know, and more glass and less gemstones. But these are beautiful, absolutely stunningly beautiful. I love those. I hope they put those on their site. I would order some more of those. Okay, number 16 is 20 pieces of 6 millimeter crystal coin beads in slate blue green iris. These are pretty. They match very well with these. Look at that. Um, they've got a lot of sparkle in this box. I'm really liking that. Just a lot of sparkle and prettiness. Those are gorgeous. Number 16 is two pieces. No, that was that one. Wait a minute. 20 pieces. <laughs> that says 20 pieces. What am I doing wrong? Okay, wait, I've done something wrong. Oh, those were the five pieces of 12 millimeter half matte crystal coin beads. Pale steel blue shimmer. I'm very sorry. I have totally messed this up. Okay, now here are the 20 pieces of six millimeter crystal coin beads in slate blue green iris. That makes much more sense because this has green in it. I was looking for the green in the other ones. I was like, there is no green here, but I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> These are really pretty, really beautiful. Like I said, a lot of sparkle in this box. Really pretty. That is 16. 17 is different. 10 grams of 5 by 2 millimeter smooth rondelle spacer beads. I like that we got these this month instead of regular round spacers. These are interesting. Um, really pretty and sparkly. I mean, bright, you know. I hope they don't tarnish. They don't look like they will. Um, these don't to me. Um... I don't know why, but they don't look like they will. They're very pretty. I like those. That's different. Okay. Um, number 18, two pieces of 38 by 9 millimeter swirl links. Let's look at these. So these are cool. These look like they're hammered metal. Wow. These are really cool. I like these a lot. So it reminds me of a mustache. Maybe. I don't know. It reminds me of a mustache, but they're really cute, and I will definitely be using them somehow. I'm going to have to think of something different to do with them, though, because I don't want to do the norm. You know me. I want to do something different. Those are really cool. Love those. Okay. I have to get creative on those. And then um, number 19, two sets of 20.5 millimeter brass swirl toggle clasps in a silver finish. These are really pretty. These are different. I've never seen these before. I like them. They remind me of mustaches too. These do. Huh. Those are really cute. All right. So there's that. And then number 20, approximately 17 inch strand of 6 to 14 millimeter ice blue quartz dyed natural rounds. These are, these are beautiful. Look at all of these that you get on this strand. Oh my goodness. So this is dyed quartz, ice blue. Oh, I really like these. I think these are my favorite thing in this box. These are beautiful. 
Look at that. So that is the bargain bead box for this month. Number uh, 20, 20 items. It says it has a $65 value. Um, and wow, beautiful. A lot of really beautiful things in this month's box. Um, I like this one. I love it. I love it a lot better than last month's. <laughs> last month's box I did not really care for. Just because I think we had had so much brown. And I was like, oh, I'm so tired of brown. And I am, like I said, really thankful that they did not do bright green and orange this month. Which I was a little worried because last year, I think it was last year, maybe the year before, it was something like that bright green and orange. It was just really bad. <laughs> um, but this is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Great job, Bargain Bee Box. I'm loving it. I want to know. I want some feedback on your um, snowflakes. Let me know. If your big snowflake had rocks in it, I'm just curious. I really, really am. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm going to get off here, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I've had the worst time focusing today, um, but I need to do something productive. So um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.